It's Friday. We're getting ready for the weekend, but we're also pulling in some thunderstorms here for our Friday afternoon and evening. I'm Michael Coates in the First Alert Weather Center getting ready for the news tonight, and uh, we have some rumbles of thunder, and they might be affecting some of those high school football games, unfortunately, because we start to see some lightning. Uh, quite a bit of wet weather starting to get out of the Magic Valley and coming east of Rupert and Burley, starting to roll in closer towards the western reaches of Power County, and also I'm seeing some thunderstorms building over the Snake River Plain. The only thing we're detecting, though, on radar at the moment is just a few little splotches of wet weather starting to develop east of Blackfoot and Firth, but we have some dark bottom clouds over Idaho falls at about four o'clock when I'm recording this and we're seeing even a few uh, lightning strikes at this point mostly into the foothills at this point but we still have those thunderstorms trying to work into the valley through this evening so the atmosphere just starting to get cooking out there for tonight and we're gonna be looking at a smattering of storm clouds high pressure is gonna work back in here from the east to the west and it's gonna settle in over the four corners for this weekend we also have low pressure just sitting there off the California coastline these systems working together to drag up that moisture and we're gonna see some wet, wet weather wrapping around this ridge of high pressure here for both Saturday and for a bit of your Sunday. Now here's a check of the Vipercast. Tonight we have the scattered thunderstorm threat still with us even at about 11 o'clock midnight. We're going to see some morning thunderstorms possible out towards areas of central Idaho and central south, I should say south central Idaho. We're talking closer to Twin Falls and areas in the mountains near Twin and Burley, but a decent chance of some morning thunderstorms tomorrow near Ketchum, Sun Valley, Valley, even up towards Mackey. Then as we get to about 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we're right back into it with scattered thunderstorms starting with the mountains. And then for tomorrow night, we're going to have a smattering of storm clouds working through the Snake River Plain. About 10 o'clock tomorrow night, we might have some late night thunderstorms booming across the Snake River Plain heading into the Snake Highlands. This is going to continue for the late night, early morning hours working into early Sunday. And then as we head into Sunday afternoon, more of the same. A smattering of thunderstorms stretching from the mountains to the valleys along with some gusty winds. High temperatures are expected to be into the mid to upper 80s this weekend for the Snake River Plain. It's going to be uh, pretty hot and sunny working into Monday and Tuesday, but it's also going to be warmer as we're picking up on a front that's going to blow on through next week. So we actually get a warm before the front going into Wednesday. So we peak to about 90 degrees on Tuesday. Front rolls through and we're dropping temperatures back into the 70s by Wednesday and Thursday as we head through next week. I got the full forecast for you tonight on Channel 8 and Channel 3 at 5, 530 and six. We will see you then.